So somehow, I don't really know how, but it's been four months since I filmed a YouTube video and I'm driving the TT last night and I'm thinking about it. And as I'm thinking about it, I go, wow, this thing has engine mounts for it sitting in my parts pile from TLTC Motorworks. Love those guys. Love you, John. Um, so today we're going to be placing the transmission mount and the engine mount on this side. The transmission mount, it's pretty easy. You just move the air filter and stuff out of the way, but then we come over to the engine mount and it's like, oh, where is it? It's underneath all this stuff. So it's a little bit in depth, but we're gonna work through it together. So like two videos ago, which was like eight months ago, I put these side skirts on the Mark VI and they are indeed holding up. I did add some 3M to them. Um, my whole idea behind it was literally that we were gonna zip tie them to the mounts that I made. If you wanna check out that video, I'll have it linked in the description. But yeah, it was a little too floppy and rubbing at the paint. So I got her taped down in some good spots. Not too taped down though. If I hit a bump and it rips off, it probably won't damage the skirt, which is really nice. And then I am still driving around with the Han seats, the Kevlar Han seats in the Mark VI. They feel absolutely amazing to get into and anything over like a 40 minute drive, you start to cry, but that's besides the point. Starts up like a dream every time. Besides the fact that she eats a glow plug every 30 miles and glow plugs are $150. And I don't know what the problem is. People are telling me it's maybe a PC. A PC, PCM, ECU, I don't know. Anyone know about that stuff? But yeah, the Mark VI eats glow plugs. So we got the TT, we got the Mark V, we got the E92 335i that I don't own. People think I own it, but it's really my brother's car. <laughs> A little close for comfort, but not close enough. Oh, God damn, bro. Look at this lineup. Okay, honestly, I think I curbed the wheel on the Mark V. Let's see. I honestly didn't even know that I was coming close to it, but yeah, it definitely just ate up on that barrel and I had no clue. See, that, that's how I live my life every day. That's not for the video, that's just how I live. People think I destroy my cars for the videos, but I literally destroy my cars because I just destroy my cars and I don't really I just destroyed my cars, it's, it's no bueno. I literally just curved my BLQs on my RSs. I'll be fine, you'll be fine. We'll be all, be, we'll all be okay. And well, just like that, we're curbed, but we gotta move the TT into the garage. Just want to remind y'all, nothing really matters. Like I do this car shit for fun. I film my life for fun. So like, if you start overthinking like curbing a wheel, like that shit could be fixed. Polish the wheel. You know what I'm saying? Put a new clear coat on the wheel. Like it's super easy. So don't ever stress it. If you fuck your car up, fix it. Um, but it's time for me to put new engine mounts in this thing. Also, I just want to tell you guys, if you have a TT in your area and you want to buy it, go freaking buy it, dude. I literally have put so many miles on this thing recently. Like, the Mark VI has been having issues, so I've just been driving the TT. And last night, I went to go visit King of Miatas. We built a squatted wheelchair. And, uh... This thing drove literally like 80 miles round trip. No problem, absolutely no problem. So these cars are like so small, you can literally just pull them into like the tightest crevice and you're there. Oh, got it. All right, so John sent me the hardware. Ugh. John sent me the hardware and he sent me ECS 1.8T poly engine mounts. Now this was like two years ago, so I basically paid full price for these, but shout out to TLC, anything I really need, they send it to me. And they can send it to you too. So if we want to grab any 1.8 or basically Mark 4, Mark 5, Mark 6, they're even parting out Mark 7s. They might even have Mark 8 parts, Mark 3s and Mark 2s. For all I know, hit up these guys on Instagram. And if you see us within the next like, or after the next like month and a half, two months, they'll have a website up. So you could probably check the website out too. Oh, spider on the hood. God dang. God dang. God dang. 
I don't really want to do this install. I could just talk to the camera all day. I should be a streamer. Oh, yeah, baby. Yo, shout out to KN. KN is not an official sponsor of the channel, but if I email them, they send me new filters. So shout out to KN. I love you. It's looking like it's time, but you can wash these filters, so I'll probably just wash. Ah, it's delicious. So this is where Lazy Alex come in and he's like, oh, I could probably just do this engine mount and like not worry about that side because that side's gonna be stiff enough. Backstory on the purple camber mobile, V1. I literally just put a solid plate engine mount on the driver's side, the transmission side, and left the passenger side just completely stock and that car drove amazing. It felt like it had all solid engine mount and no dog bone or in a solid dog bone. I may do both. I may do both or Lazy Alex might come in. Well, just, just watch the video to find out. Point five, I can't even see the screen. I do have a tripod for all this stuff, but I like just filming like kind of barbarically. Um, also, like I said, once again, shout out to John for like packaging this stuff up amazingly. I think this is the transmission side. Yeah, it should be the transmission side. This side usually goes to like a washer bottle and stuff, but I could be wrong. But um, it's just literally just two bolts here and two bolts here. And since I'm gonna have the car jacked up, the transmission is gonna be exactly where it should be. I'm literally just taking pressure off and I'm gonna bolt this right in and we're not gonna have to like center up the bolt or anything like that. That's why I do one side at a time. It's pretty cool. It's not the right way to do it, but it's my way to do it. You feel me? I just had to take this cover off go snake my way through the engine harness and there's like a hole for a bolt right here that bolt then goes through here and like stabilizes the engine mount from the top which i think is really cool because i don't think the mark fives have that on the trans side oh yeah it looks good Lord. let's jack her up I'm basically just going until i feel pressure like that that's it that's all i'm doing I got all four bolts loose. These are 18s. These are 16s. Shout out to Volkswagen for designing a bolt hole. I don't even know what to call it. In through the harness housing, but it got that loose. Now I'm gonna hook it up to the impact. Give me a minute. Bolts were getting stuck on stuff. Always pays to have a $4 magnet. I'll have this magnet actually linked down in the description. I bought this off Amazon. You can buy it through my link. Oh, baby, I like the way. Okay, so stock engine mount. Probably blown out. I don't know what it's supposed to feel like, but that does not look good to me. Hi, my name's Alex, and I'm replacing my engine mounts today. And then we have this guy right here. Ugh. Oh, yeah, so this doesn't move, like at all. So I'm gonna throw this in there, but I'm gonna vacuum that out first. And if I see any rust, which I probably won't because this car's from South Carolina and I brought it up to New Jersey where it's salty and it's gonna get rusty eventually. So I gotta get this stuff out there that's gonna absorb all the moisture. Um, I might paint it, but it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna vacuum that out. Okay, that actually looks freaking awesome, but just for some added protection, we're gonna add this stuff, rust reformer. Okay, one last look before we throw this in the car. We won't be able to see us in the car, but we'll know it's in there. You guys will know it's in there. I'll know it's in there, so that's all that really matters, but this will add performance. Shifts will be better. Um, you won't feel the back and forth bucking you felt with this nonsense, but oh my God, let's throw this in. Wow, well, bam! I think these engine mounts lift the engine up a good like quarter inch because i could stick my finger underneath there right now i don't know if that's part of the performance aspect i mean we're not low but that's actually nice as it picks the engine up more and if you guys know mark fours you know the oil pans like to shatter so i got a hybrid pan on there then i smashed that hybrid pan i got another hybrid pan on there so if this is picked up another quarter inch that's gonna save us a lot when i hit roadkill maybe it won't hit the oil pan but we're gonna throw this bolt into the back now and this is gonna center it out and then we're gonna throw the other four bolts on. I am not a trained professional. I barely know what I'm doing, so. Don't do as I do, just watch and enjoy. And here's the little hole I was telling you guys about. You can see right down through there. So you got plastic and you got the engine mount itself and then right beneath that, you got the bolt. So I'm gonna put that in there. Alrighty, that's down in there. It's finger tight. Now I'm gonna go on to these four. As you can see, these are literally in the same back spot I left them. So I'm debating whether I should tighten that down or those down first, but everything's lined up beautifully. So um, that's why I love doing the corner methods. One side at a time. I'm gonna do the trans bolts first, but uh, I'm gonna use John's bolts. I don't really need to, but my bolts are like crusty on the head. 
Okay, well, it is now two hours later, and I've come to the conclusion that this 1.8 engine mount just won't fit. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, um, but I've never experienced this before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this guy, and I'm going to trim off the edge of this guy, and then it's going to slip right on. And this guy isn't really structural, so it's just keeping this guy from touching this guy on that guy, and yeah. Nice and dusty, but, but this, ah, hopefully now that corner piece is going to allow this to slip on. So these mounts do in fact mirror each other top to bottom, but the only difference is the pocket for the transmission sleeve or the centering piece on this side, it's just completely cut out. So it was hitting on that very corner and I wasn't able to get it to slip on. So instead of cutting this, I cut the transmission mount. That is all finally together. I actually just drilled that to guide this up after I made more adjustments on the mount. But um, if they, if you, if you want to buy one eight Jetta engine mounts for your two twenty five TT, they will fit. But you got to do some work. Right there, in this little triangular area, it's sitting flush and everything's good. Got my charge pipe off. Now I gotta get all this out of the way so I can get all the way down there to something you can't even see because it's so goddamn covered up by nonsense. Hey, that guy right there. I'm just getting in there and get all the bolts out, but one thing I like to do is get a magnet in there at the same time because those little screws will fall down into the engine bay and you won't know where they went. So, magnet right next to there. So, when it pops out, magnet pick it up and then just put it right here on the table with everything you need. I got it. Made super quick work of that. Um, it could be intimidating for some people, but honestly, just go for it. Bolt there, bolt there, bolt there. Yeah, I got everything out. You gotta do those two bolts and those two bolts. And this side is a much different layout. It's another four bolt system, just like the other one. I'm probably gonna take this mount off and use this OEM mount right here, which allows me to bolt on coolant ball. It all just attaches on there, two bolts there. Exact same here, so. This actually looks like it's an OEM part for like a Jetta. So you can see how the Jetta mount's different than like uh, the Mark 1 TT. So these are definitely off a of Jetta. Cause like I said earlier in the video, these are off a of parts car. These aren't new. Wow. Look at that crap. That thing is blown. It's so like I showed earlier, these stock engine mounts. They, uh, ugh. you can see how crooked that thing is. These things are shot. Gorgeous. Wow. Dude, I am so stoked. Yeah, that hole lines up, that hole. And all this side is, this side is making me happy. This video is going way better now than it was before. I was getting frustrated, but if you guys are enjoying the video so far, let me know down below. I'm trying to get back into this YouTube thing, guys. So I'm trying to figure it all out, see how I should um, go about making the videos and I'm enjoying it so far. And if you guys are enjoying it as well, make sure you throw the video a like and maybe even a subscription. Uh, baby. Everything's all tight. Time to throw us back in there. And then um, just like this. Don't worry, I didn't forget about the charge pipe. Oh my goodness. Look at this thing now, baby. Okay, it all looks the same, but it all looks cleaner because I just cleaned it. We got fresh mounts in there. You can't see that one, but you can see that one and I'm stoked. I hope you're stoked as well. Let's rip it. I'm expecting it to be a little bit more vibrating. That's even a word, but uh. The whole car is shaking. I don't know if. This literally is more harsh than my solid engine mounts were. I'll get used to this in like two days, I think. I hope. Because this is bad. Yes. Race car, I guess. 
legit, I'm not even kidding you, I don't know if it's supposed to be like this or if the exhaust is hitting the frame, but this is like brutal. I'm not even gonna lie to you, this is like literally brutal. This is way Ray's car. I'll give it a minute. Like I said, this is like, you know when you mod a car and you're like, oh, this kind of sucks. That's how I'm feeling right now, but it might kind of suck because it's something new, but literally the whole car is shaking. This is more violent than solid engine mounts were. So weird, but I'll probably get used to it. But let's do a quick little one-two pull. That feels solid. I really hope this comes across on screen. Can you hear it? I feel like I'm a scrambled egg. So let's be real here. Once upon a time, I probably would have been stoked on that vibration. Like I said though, maybe I'll grow into that vibration. But at this moment, I'm thinking about hitting up 034 Motorsports. They told me they would work with me like a year and a half ago. And maybe we'll do an 034 Motorsports engine mount install. I don't know, right now, I am not feeling those. It's not often that I don't like a mod, but I mean, it happens. It really does happen. That's how I feel about wheels though. I put wheels on a set of, on a car and I'm like, eh, like when I put them on the Mark six, look at that thing. That thing is gorgeous. So maybe they'll grow on me, but right now I'm not really feeling them. Let me, well, I, I guess you guys have been driven along, but if you have engine mounts like I do, how do you feel about them? Did you grow into them? Like, please tell me. But just like that, guys, that's going to be a wrap on today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you're stoked on the mods, regardless of how I feel. And uh, I hope you come back for more. So if you like today's video, throw it a like. And if you want to come back for more and you aren't already subscribed, subscribe. But either way, I'm just having fun. I'm just recording my day-to-day -day life. And uh, I hope that you guys enjoy the videos. So I'll see you in the next one. Maybe, maybe you'll be there. All right. Hope you are. Peace.